Welcome to another episode of the Drawing Science Club. I'm your host, Brenda, and today we're going to be learning about states of matter by learning how pieces of matter are made up of smaller particles and can sometimes be put together to make bigger particles, and sometimes that change can be reversed, and sometimes it can't. Here's what you'll need. At least one jar, a sponge, some water, and some borax powder. You can also use salt if you don't have borax powder. You will also either need access to a stove or a hot plate for this because the water has to be warmed. All right, let's get started. Here we are close and I'm using a hot plate to heat up my water. It doesn't have to get to boiling. You just have to get hot enough to where you can dissolve the borax. So you use a ratio of two parts water to one part borax. So I've got about two cups of water here. So I'm gonna pour in one cup of borax after the water. Then you just let this heat and dissolve. And once the powder is dissolved into the water, you can pour it into your jar. I cut my sponge into little pieces. We'll cut them into the pieces about this big and I'm gonna put two in each jar. I'm gonna make two jars. So here's my jar with borax water and I'm gonna add in my sponges. We're gonna give it a couple hours for the crystals to form. Then we're gonna see if we can dissolve them again once they form crystals. So I'll meet you back here in a couple hours. I'm just gonna take these out and dry them on a paper towel. Here they are dried. You can see the crystals have formed. Here are the crystals on the sponges. And now we're gonna put them inside some water and see if we can get them to go down into smaller size particles again. So this is gonna be a test to see if we can get borax to turn from powder to solids and then turn back to powder. So I've got a little hot plate here and I'm gonna get this water warm and then we're gonna put the crystals in. Okay, our water's nice and hot, so now we're gonna put in our crystals and we're gonna see if we can get them to turn back into the borax powder particles. a little spoon here we're going to use to stir. The sponges are softening so it feels like it might be working. The water has started to cool and now our sponges are squishy again. So now it's time to do the test to see if the borax crystals turn back into powder. There's no more crystals on the sponge as a reminder. This is what they looked like after we had formed the crystals. And then here's what it looks like now after being soaked in hot water. This has crystals all over it, and this one doesn't. So now what we're going to do to see if the particles have turned, if the crystals have turned back into powder, is you need something black, like a piece of paper or styrofoam. And then you're gonna squeeze out a little bit of the liquid onto the surface of the black thing. Then you let the water completely evaporate. This can take a few minutes. Here's what it looks like wet. And here it is after. You can see the white residue of the borax crystals turning back to powder. And I don't know if you can see on my fingers, but there's also white powder residue on my fingers from squeezing the sponge. So here's what we learned in our experiment. When we first started, we had this white borax powder. Then we heated it in water and soaked it in a sponge and we got these borax crystals. Then we heated it in water again and took the crystals and broke them back down into small particles, which are evidenced on this tray by this white film that's remaining and the white powder on my fingers. So from this experiment, we can conclude that borax is something that can be changed by heat into one thing and then changed back again to its original state by adding heat again. Some particles can change forms this way and some can't. That's it for today's lesson. Get the worksheets for this lesson, the full science explanation, and a 12-page lesson plan for this experiment in the Jarring Science Club. Stay curious.